She keeps them always shined on in a pretty cabinet. Let them eat cake, she says, just like Marie Antoinette. A building a remedy for Chris Job and Kennedy. Manticore, a weird looking creature with the body of a lion, tail full of poisonous quills, and the face of Karl Marx, is the basis of this dangerous mech. While the mythical Manticore can shoot quills like arrows from its tail, Manticore the mech doesn't really do that. But it can do cool lightning tricks and explode. Wait what? Said my viewers who didn't read the Lancer Core rulebook at all. Anyway, moving on to its stat. Manticore's health is decent, good armor, but suffering evasion and speed. Its heat cap is good with an excellent E defense, and it can do tech attack pretty well from a good distance. On to its traits. The Manticore first trait is Slag Carapace, which gives it resistance to energy and burn. Which is really good because not only you get resistance to two damage type, one of them is the annoying as fuck burn too. Its second trait, Unstable System, cause the Manticore to explode at the end of your next turn when it is destroyed. Oh no. Its third trait, has by far the longest name of any trait with a proportionally long description, Castigate the Enemies of the Godhead. During the rest or repair cycle, you can, in fact, push the system further into instability. If you choose to do so, the mech will instantly explode when it is destroyed, killing you and everyone around you with a ridiculous damage in a burst 2 radius. You can. Of course, turn this trait on and off in each rest or repair cycle. But, you must be within the mech for this trait to be active. If you aren't inside, it won't work. So it's a suicide mesh? Correct. But I don't want to die. Look, son. There's literally an entire section in the book that basically said death. That's just a minor inconvenience in the way of lancering. You can choose to die like a normal person, or get revived as a clone, facsimile, subaltern or whatever. Death is merely a phase to those who have accepted their role as Lancer, and it makes for good role-playing opportunity. Anyway, moving on. Manticore has a decent number of base system points, and two weapon mounts, a flex and a heavy. It also has an actual core system passive from its charged exoskeleton. Now, a short explanation. Some meshs don't just only have core power, they also have a special passive that's exclusive to them. And in Manticore case, this passive damages anyone in range 3 of it for 2 AP energy damage whenever it takes heat from any source, and by any source I mean your own too. As for its core power, your charged exoskeleton begins to overcharge and initiate destruction of the Temple of the Enemies of Ra. My god, everything here is so wordy. For the rest of the scene, your mech gains resistance to heat from any source. Whenever you take heat and energy damage from any source, you charge up your exoskeleton. Once you charged up to the max, you discharge all the energy you have into a lightning storm, zapping anyone that is within your radius for massive damage. Then the system deactivates and you lose resistance to heat too. Onto the rest of its license, there's Beckoner and Catalyst Pistol in the first section. Beckoner is an invasion tech upgrade, it gives you two additional options. The first one, Beckon, teleport both the target and you into each other place. If you are a Loki main in Warframe, this is pretty much up your alley. The second option, Summon. Pull any character close to your target even closer to them. Catalyst Pistol, it's pretty good for an O. Con 3, Threat 3, its damage might look bad but it's perfect to deal with a group of grunts. However, that heat cost is going to be a problem whenever you fired the pistol, so take a careful look on your heat bar. In the second section, aside from Manticore frame itself, you get Arc Projector and Smite. Arc Projector, is a lightning gun that can arc between character. So while its damage might look below average for a heavy, you can zap pretty much everyone as long as they are close to each other. Just do note that you can't re-zap people after you zap them. Smite is another invasion tech upgrade and it also gives you two additional options. The first one, Smite, makes your mech takes 1d6 AP energy damage, yes you hear that right. Then stuns your target until the end of their next turn. You might wonder why the fuck when you want this until you remember Manticore's core power. Also, a character would only be affected by stun this way once. So pick your moment wisely. Its second option, Seer, also make your mech takes damage, but this time your target gets cooked up by every single friend it has nearby, minus those too small to matter, up to 6 heat. This is of course, to make your target shut down when you can no longer do the first option on it. Basically, unless you are absolutely certain it's gonna work, don't use Smite. Those self-damage hurt. 
onto its last section, you get EMP pulse and lightning generator. With the EMP pulse, you can stun any non-biological units near you until the end of their next turn. However, you will also be stunned too. So make sure your friends could back you up by killing everything around you before they wake up. Again, any character could only be stunned this way once per scene. And finally lightning generator, at the start of your turn, you can take one heat to zap all characters near you for a small amount of damage. But when you reach danger zone, or half of your heat cap, this system activates automatically and deals twice the damage with armor piercing tag. Sounds incredibly good, but just remember that you also take the heat every time this activates too. As a conclusion, Manticore is a dangerous close combat mech that can take a side gig as a hacker pretty well. You, in fact, don't need to actually castigate your enemies to successfully kill them, a combination of close range combat and tech attack will put your enemies on their toes as they have no idea what you might pull next. Just remember that when the time comes, you know what to do. Oh yeah, I would also like to say something about the polls for next episode of Trash Talk on Lancer. Well, you see. I think you guys like Space 4chan a little too much. So, I have decided to rotate the polls between the companies, starting with IPSN, so fans of the companies could get their favorite mech reviewed. Of course, I'm not gonna go back on my word on top 2 mech here on the poll will get reviewed, so you could expect a certain someone next week. Until then, I see you all next time.